Howdy folks, this is the Dynam Primo uh, 1.45 metre wingspan uh, Tundra style, club style, bush plane style plane. This is my sort of plane. Doesn't matter where you take off and land it, it's going to work great. It runs on a 4S 2200 battery, so it'll have lots of power, lots of fun. Let's get into it. It was all very nicely packed and I think this is the first model I've ever received that wasn't a little bit crushed or a little bit scratched or dinged or something like that. So that was great. Okay, let's have a look at all the parts. First of all, we've got some big, big wings, 1.45 metre wingspan, deep cord. They look about 9 inch or something like that. Let me just measure it. 9 inch wing cord all the way through. Joining spar. I think they already have spars in there. Uh, mounting cap there, fuselage, it's, fuselage is not enormous, um, one thing I noticed, that's where the battery goes in, so you're sort of limited by the size of the battery, might have to do some mods to get bigger batteries in there, uh, I've only got 4S3000, so that'll be interesting, Dean's connector, which I'll change to an XT60, it's nice quality foam though, and very, very smooth and good quality. Plywood reinforcing for the servos and the wing mount, which is great. Also, plywood reinforcing in the wing there. Again, adding to the strength. Horizontal stabiliser, nice and big. Hinges look pretty good quality, but I think I'm going to reinforce them anyway. Rudder, that's a little bit light, maybe. Plastic brackets for mounting steerable tail wheel really really big wheels i like these big wheels for landing at my field very very sturdy landing gear that's going to take a beating big 13 by 6 props they are enormous a little bit of mounting gear some wire leads which i won't use mounting plate instruction manual and some funky looking decals as well now this looks like a very, very easy build. They've given us some glue, but I don't think you need it at all. Just all screws and bolts together. Everything is pre-installed. Good quality, tough uh, Dynam control horns. I like them. Flaps with the mid-mounted hinges. They're a little bit, a little bit slack. A fair bit of play in them. Ailerons aren't too bad. I'd like to tighten up that, I think. Okay, enough talk, let's get building. Now's the right time to connect up the uh, receiver because once you put the wing on uh, you don't get access to the receiver it's sort of underneath the wing there so you need to position the wing and wiggle it forward into a couple of uh, little locating holes at the front and just push it down some big six mil nylon screws to hold it in place just don't tighten them down too much on goes the landing gear that just fits into the plastic bracket, bracket on top, eight little screws to go in there. I'll speed this up a bit for you. Do, 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 And tighten them all down. Speed that up as well. Da, 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 now the wheels, uh, and they're just, uh, they just fit on with a washer and a locking collar. Which they provide the little Allen key or the hex wrench for. Very good. Both sides. Now the steerable tail gear and tail mounting bracket goes on. This is probably the most fiddly part of the build. In the meantime, I'm putting the control horn on the horizontal stabiliser, fitting the vertical and horizontal stabilisers into the fuselage. And you've got to be careful when you're doing this bit here. Um, the, the locating rod for the steerable wheel has to be in the right position, sort of inside the foam. Now putting the steerable tail wheel on. 
big bolts to hold the tail into position. The prop needed a tiny bit of balancing, uh, just one little bit of tape. Now the time for the run-up test, and this is a bit scary, it's got heaps and heaps of thrust. And we got up to a maximum of about 37 and a half amps, and it was pulling like crazy. So this is going to have a heap of performance. Now I just have to decal it up and we can go for a fly. Banggood are having a Christmas giveaway. So there's a link to the video in the notes. So go and check that out. The cameras, things like that. All you have to do is leave a comment in their video comments and you're in the running for the prize. Just make sure you check out the link in the notes. And the Banggood purchase link for this plane is in the notes as well. There's the Dynam Primo 1450 wingspan from Banggood. Flight video coming up soon. Thanks for watching.